A Bay Area father and daughter are accused of running a multi-million dollar real estate scheme that has ruined credit scores for dozens of Bay Area investors. That's right. It's a scheme that was uncovered by the ABC 7 News I-Team, and Dan Noyes is here to explain, Dan, how this thing all worked. It's a big one. Dan and Carolyn, the investors told us the man who masterminded the deal lived a lavish lifestyle at his East Bay ranch with expensive sports cars and helicopter rides to Las Vegas. He even spent a million dollars to produce a Hollywood-style horror film. I like where you're going with this. Help me design our perfect maniac. Jim McConville bankrolled a slasher film due out this fall called Red Velvet. He and his daughter Nicole are listed as producers. They even appear in a music video for the movie. Come on, he's That's McConville playing an instructor at a school for assassins. But it's another family business that has the McConvilles facing lawsuits, an FBI investigation, and questions from the I team. What do you say to all those people who lost all that money? How involved were you? Could you talk to me, please? Nicole McConville is listed as CEO on several real estate companies set up and run by her father. According to several investors and lawsuits filed against him, Jim McConville offered investors $10,000 if they'd help him with a straw purchase. He'd use their names and good credit to take out loans to buy undervalued condos up and down the state. He promised to renovate the condos, sell them, and in some cases split the profits with the investors. I said, you know, well, what if you default on the loan? He said, I'll never default on the loan. I would never do that. I've never done that. I've been doing this for 30 years. It's completely legal. And those were his words, quote, unquote. Christy Voss says McConville took out loans for nearly $700,000 in her name to buy two condos at this San Diego complex. But at the end of last year, she started getting default letters. McConville had stopped the mortgage payments. The bank foreclosed. And Christie's finances are in a shambles. You know what? Honestly, I, I'm devastated. How so? Because um, I think a lot of um, other people can speak the same. But, you know, I'm a very credible person. I mean, I had a credit score of 770. Now it's down to 570. People who worked for McConville tell the I-Team he pulled the same thing with nearly a 1,000 properties the past few years. He was collecting the rents and sticking them in his pocket and not paying the mortgage. Jack Thomas headed the construction crews, rehabbing McConville's condos. He became an investor himself. McConville used his name and good credit to purchase 11 properties worth more than $10 million, all of them now in foreclosure. You know, I get phone calls. I get at least 15 phone calls a day from banks. And McConville appears to have bought some condos at deliberately inflated prices, getting substantial kickbacks from the sellers, leaving investors on the hook for the mortgage. This document from last year's sale of one condo in San Diego shows it went for $310,000, much higher than market value. From that loan, the seller paid McConville's 3 Mac Corporation a $180,000 marketing fee. He used me. He used me for my friends, my family. Charlene Lujan got swept up in McConville's scheme, and she got 40 friends and family members, including her husband, to take part as well. All of them are devastated financially. I'm 39 years old, and it's really hard to start all over again. And, you know, your credit's screwed for 10 years. The I-Team tracked down Jim McConville at his lawyer's office. He refused to answer our questions. And so did his daughter, Nicole. We caught up to her at Alameda County Superior Court. An $800,000 default judgment against her and her father has been temporarily set aside. An investor claims to have lost nearly $2 million in deals with the McConvilles. Yes? Who are you? I'm Dan Noyes with ABC. You are? Okay. Wonder Mark, if I'm Mr. McConville's attorney. Right. I'd like to speak so, with let, her. Can I speak with you as well? Let me speak to my client for a moment. Right. Nicole? I'm asking about where the money is, what she says to the victims, all the people who lost money, that sort of thing. Despite repeated phone calls, we've received no answers from Jim and Nicole McConville or their attorneys. The civil lawsuits may be the least of their worries. The I-Teams confirmed the FBI has launched a criminal investigation at issue. Who helped the McConvilles? Are any appraisers or lenders responsible? Where is all that money, the marketing fees McConville collected, and the rent on all those properties? You know, I would like to see justice served and to see everything that he's bought, you know, his Lamborghinis and his Cobras and all his expensive hot rods and his art, you know, returned to people that he owes money to. Come out, whoever you are. Which takes us back to Red Velvet. 
The upcoming release of McConville's horror movie is a slap in the face to investors who lost money and had their credit ruined in his real estate deals. He spent a lot of someone else's money on that. McConville used to call himself the West Coast Donald Trump. Now he's being described as a small-time Bernie Madoff. He has ruined my life. He's ruined my life and everybody involved, absolutely. I want the properties out of our names, our people's names, my friends, my family, anyone that was a victim. I want their credit fixed, and I want Jim McConville behind bars for the rest of his life. It turns out Jim McConville had to get people to let him use their names. He couldn't buy property himself because of a $1.2 million tax lien he got hit with back in the early 90s. We have more on the background on the story, including McConville's criminal record, in a new iTeam blog at abc7news.com.